For what purpose does the gentleman from Georgia rise? Move to strike the requisite words. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. I thank the gentleman for allowing that. Um, let me just say this. Um, Georgia is the second largest cotton-producing state. It accounts for approximately 10 percent of the U.S. cotton production. In 2011, Georgia farmers intend to plant almost 1.5 million acres of cotton. The average farm gate value is more than $600 million. There are approximately 2,800 businesses directly involved in the production, processing, and distribution of cotton. Accounting for the broader economic effects, the Georgia cotton industry supports more than 46 thousand jobs, and it generates economic activity of approximately $11 billion. Now, the proponents of these amendments uh, target provisions in the cotton programs that are at the center of a WTO trade case which Brazil has against the United States. Uh, the U.S. and the Brazilian governments have scheduled a series of consultations are designed to identify the modifications in policy that will resolve the case. The intention is to reach agreement on carefully thought out provisions that can be included in the 2012 Farm Bill. These hastily drafted amendments are not guaranteed to resolve the dispute. One, since the U.S.-Brazil consultations have not resulted in any specific agreement. And two, uh, since uh, these approaches will certainly undermine the future discussions as the two countries attempt to reach a final resolution that's fair and that is reasonable. The amendments target cotton farmers in an effort to reduce government spending. The 2008 Farm Bill, including the cotton provisions, was fully paid for, offset, and did not add one single dime to the deficit. They cite the years in which the government's support for cotton was historically high, but they ignore the years when the support actually is at historic lows. We need to maintain the safety net so that it's there when it's needed, but not utilized, as it hasn't been recently, when it's not needed. Farmers understand that the current budget pressures, they understand that very well, but they expect to be a part of a debate involving all of the agricultural stakeholders and not be singled out for ad hoc budget reductions uh, with hasty policy decisions. These uh, proposed amendment null amendments would nullify the basic component of cotton policy. If these amendments are enacted, they would take effect October 1st, and as a result, USDA would have to change the cotton program rules in the middle of the marketing year and change them back effective October 1st, 2012. This would undermine the confidence in commodity programs, especially among agricultural lenders. This would compromise our agriculture policy, a policy that has been vetted very carefully uh, by our authorizing committees and relied upon by our growers and our lenders in making their business decisions going into 2012. The reauthorization of the Farm Bill in, in 2012 is, is the proper form to debate the cotton agriculture policy, not here on this appropriations bill. Uh, we have got to do what is right in regular order. This is not the time, it's not the place, and what we're doing tonight, if they go forward with this, is pulling the rug out from under our cotton farmers and our agriculture when they have made plans through, financial plans through 2012. It is unfair, it's not right, and we should not do it. And I urge my colleagues to reject uh, these amendments, they are ill-advised.